the future of green energy just finished a 25 country tour. It moves as quietly as a whisper, uses the sun, wind, and hydrogen for fuel, and emits zero greenhouse gases. VOH Arash Arabasadi sails us through this story. Atop the Thames River, against the backdrop of historic London, floats what is quite possibly the future of green energy. Millions of boats are transporting everything from what we're wearing to what we eat to what we put over our heads, you know, our homes, etc. Everything is transported via maritime transport. And so it's really important that we find a solution to limit their impact on the planet. The 30 meter energy observer visited 25 countries since leaving France in 2017. The craft is powered only by electricity sourced from the sun, wind, and the water on which it glides. Oh, and it moves silently while contributing nothing to greenhouse gases. This here is the electrolyzer. It's a very important piece of equipment. So that famous H2O molecule, we're able to split it, as in split the oxygen from the hydrogen. This machine draws water and breaks it down to its elemental state, which then becomes backup fuel when the sun hides or the wind stills. When we don't have any energy, like for example during the nighttime, we can make use of the hydrogen that we stored on the boat. They store that hydrogen in fuel cells. And if that sounds a bit troubling, you are not alone. Even though the system we have here is extremely reliable, storing hydrogen in gas forms, there are still quite a few safety issues that we need to work through. The captain says that a hydrogen-powered cargo ship would provide a different challenge than this much smaller vessel, but says the hard work is worth the payoff. This summer we had scientists on board and we were able to observe global warming through melting glaciers. Simple as that. It's astounding. It's not cyclical. Climate change is exponential. The craft costs just over $6.5 million, and the captain says that like any new technology, the high price of its pieces will drop in coming years.